and it's Ryan Sullivan. You know, in many ways, this is a crucial showdown between Rickardson and Sullivan for the title itself. It could be settled tonight, or Sullivan could keep the pressure on. Away we go. Who's it going to be? Rickardson gets away well. But so does a Thomas Golovin. They get together in the first goal. Down goes Pedersen. That's Pedersen down. Up front, Ryan Sullivan's got it. But Pedersen is down. The race has been stopped. And Sam, how's that going to be called? Well, it's hard to say at this stage. Um, I'd like to see another shot of that. But it looked like they just kind of got bunched up going in the corner. It was kind of a domino effect. It looked like um, Thomas on the inside gets moves a little bit to the right, gives Tony a little bit of a bump. And then as he gives a bump, it gives uh, Nicky a bump. And then he ran out of room and put it down. And Sullivan was looking to go up the inside and pass them all. Well, it just all got a bit tight. They all make good starts. Tony's taking me straight into the fence. I got no choice at all. His back wheel is in my front wheel. Yes, yeah, see, you can see it on the screen. I've just seen the replay, please. You've got to look at it again. Yeah, you've got to look at it again. I mean, it's no fair. He's taking me right on even looking at me. His first corner, you can take all four out. What's going on with you? There's nobody guilty. Golov is taking Tony out. Tony's taking me out. And I'm the guy that's closest to the fence. So that means all four riders is in the rerun. Yeah, but that's really, really wrong. Well, Nicky Pedersen, understandably upset. He has been excluded from the restart. He's out of the competition. He will not take back-to-back -back Grand Prix wins, and he looked to be in great shape. Golub will therefore restart again from gate one. Rickardson, gate two. Oh, and Nicky Pedersen. You know, when we look at this thing, he was the only one really to put uh, Tony under pressure. He passed Tony, and uh, he messed it all up, and now he's not in there. And let's see what's going to happen out of the start now. Well, let's see what happens. Brian Sullivan up on the outside, glances across. Golub and Rickardson, but it's Rickardson who gets ahead. Sullivan comes down the inside. Oh, that was a good first corner from Sullivan. It's got him into second place. Yeah, it was really a smart move right now, but he got battled a little bit there by the track, and now Thomas Golov's putting the pressure on him. He's gone right around the outside, and it looks like he's hooked up. Pretty happy with this setup at the moment. Can he pull off a second place as he goes there? Well, this is so crucial for Sullivan. He has to finish in second place to make it through to the final and keep the pressure on Rickardson for the championship. But Golub is in the second now. Thomas Golub, who made the final here last year, has been struggling recently, but he loves being on a track like Foyens. He did all the work in that first corner, but then Golub come alive and went right around him. And now we're looking at Tony out front. He's looking like he's got this thing right where he wants it to be, and that's in first place. So Rickardson set for the final, but it looks like Ryan Sullivan is not going to make it into the final, and this could be crucial in championship terms. Gollum takes second. Sullivan is not in the final here. In it's up to him now to keep the pressure on Rickardson. Runa Holter in white, and Billy Hamill up on the outside in yellow. Has not made it through to a final this year, has Billy Hamill. Let's see if he can do it this time. Oh, and a bit of a jump start there from Jason Crump, but he gets away last in the end. He, oh, and the race has been stopped. Well, the referee seeing that movement from Crumpy, no doubt, deciding to stop the race. Well, we've seen Crumpy focusing earlier before the races, but now he's really nervous. Look at that twitch as we're going. He knows what he's got to do, and he let that clutch out a little bit too quick. Well, let's find out what's going to happen. Are they going to let him uh, come back out again, Sam? Well, it's a hard decision. I'd, uh, I'd hate to be the referee to make that decision, that's for sure. Well, in fact, they have. Look, they've called him back. So he has not been excluded. We'll have all four ready for the restart. Then Greg Hancock in red, Jason Crump in blue, Bruno Holter in white, and Billy Hamill in yellow. That was a gift for this guy, Jason Crump. Uh, he could have easily been excluded, and Tony's uh, agreeing that he should have been. But now it's a second chance. What's he going to do with that? A little bit of creeping from Billy Hamill, but he gets away. Look at Jason Crump start this time. Well, he's certainly got it right. And he's in front, almost going down Greg Hancock. But also, Billy Hamill's moved into second place. He sure did. All the, uh, Billy took the rewards of Greg's mistake there and pulled in that second place. And it's such a crucial race right now. But Crumpy's making sure that he's going to keep the pressure on Tony Rickardson by winning this race. 
So the top two will go through to the final, and at the moment, that looks like it's going to be Jason Crump and Billy Hamill. Greg Hancock battling with Runa Holter at the back there. Those two will not make it through unless something happens to the top two. But Billy's keeping Jason Crump honest, keeping the pressure on him. He sure is. He's putting that bike right through those little ruts that are giving him that little extra drive just right there, and it's keeping him in the contention and putting the pressure on Crumpy. Well, it's good to see Billy Hamill hitting some form again, Sam. He's had a tough season. Yeah, he's the new American champion, national champion. He's taken that uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he's just showing that he's still a contender for the world championship. Crumpy looking over his shoulder, but he sees Hamill's finishing in second place. Rick Rickardson is the in other blue, two. gate two. Then it's Billy Hamill in white, and uh, a major threat always, Tomasz Golob in yellow. Yeah, this is going to be a tense moment. Jason, we know, has already almost went through the tapes. He's on the controlling gate on the inside. If Tony wants to be world champion, he's got a battle for it. Away we go. Who's going? Oh, Rick Hudson makes a brilliant start from gate two. Fantastic start, but going around the outside is Thomas Collop. Crumpy's been pushed back to second. Billy Hamill's at the back. Yeah, they just got to watch out for those ruts now. Tony's on the very inside line. Oh, oh. there goes Crumpy. He lifted right through one and put him on the ground. Will he get up or will they stop the race? He gets up. Good job, Crumpy. What a sportsman. And look at Tony putting his wheels right through those ruts and getting that extra drive. Yeah, but look at Thomas Collop. He's never won in Denmark and he's still threatening Tony Rickard. And he just dropped back a little bit there. But Gollop's fired up, wanting to put some bad results behind him. But Rickardson is up front, and Jason Crump can't win this race now. Rickardson will be champion, surely. He sure is. Let's hope he doesn't make a mistake. I'm sure he wants to win this final right here in Denmark. Look at him put his back wheel right through those vital grooves, and he looks over his shoulder and sees that he's pulling away from Golob, and he must feel proud of himself right now. What a way to win your fifth world title. Tony Rickardson is world champion 2002. What a way to do it. He wins the final hit in Denmark, and that is brilliant. Jason Crump fought, but ultimately could not beat this man again. Tony Rickardson matches the great Ove Funden with five world championships. Only Ivan Major's target to beat now of six world titles, but oh, the pressure was on all the way. What a great feeling to be world champion once again. He's done it the hard way. He worked for it. He had to beat Jason off the inside, which was probably the best gate. Good job.